Tom? You come back, right, Tom? Oh, thank the heavens! I, I do not eat or experiment on the foil wrap triangle of ancient cheese. You forbid the rest of the cure from touching it too. Um, the temptation of having something so delicious on board but not eating it proved too heavy for everyone to bear. There was an argument, tears and harsh words were exchanged. In the end, you threw it out. Tom tries his deep, deep experience. He seems frail, in need of a meal, and disturbed, but the important thing is that he's still with us. You listen. Enraptured. <laughs> you listen. <laughs> Enraptured. I read that as being scolded initially. I don't know why. Enraptured as he begins to recall his dwarf like <laughs> excursion. The, mar uh, the darkness was so absolute, Tom tripped and fell. His bruises speak for themselves, Captain. He found an untouched mineral vein. I'm fully briefed. Oh, and Tom found some old paintings depicting ancient aliens coming to this planet to acquire soup. Was this world some kind of intergalactical soup hub? Tom found a lighter during this trip. Fantastic. Um, the fact that you can find soup out here will never cease to amaze me anyway. Tom picked up some soup on the way. April looks starved. Dee Dee is asking for soup. Recycling operation. Yep, okay. Uh, might want to secure some rations for yourself, Captain. Tom doesn't seem to be alert anymore. Tom is complaining about an empty stomach. Tom is tired after the trip outside. He will have to rest for a while before he can leave the shuttle again. That's fine. Why am I hungry? How could that possibly be? Uh, I guess I'll make an another soup then. Mm -hmm. You need a soup for sure. Uh, you must, you must be hungry after your trip. You must, you must be absolutely bloody starving. All right, and Dee Dee, I, I just want you to know that after you've fucking eaten. You'll be out of here. You'll be off. You'll be out. You'll be off. Uh, I have a bug. Com uh, I said commander. I'm sorry. I <laughs> Mass Effect. I have a bug, Captain. I don't know who modified my code, but the consensus could be devastating. You need to open up my back panel and perform an emergency fix. How will you approach the system? Intelligence, of course. Intelligence. Okay, great. Um... Yeah, absolutely, absolutely grand. I couldn't remember if I fed you. I was just checking. I, oh, yeah, I threatened you. I remember that. And you, you brought the gun and shit back as well. That's that's absolutely super. I think I realistically cannot send Tom out because Tom makes, makes the minerals that let me get soup every day. Uh, I access the sabotage processor and fix the issue. You sure are quick with those ones and zeros, Captain. We still don't know who committed the sabotage. Perhaps the enemy is closer than we thought. Still feel hunger, Captain. Tom is still loyal. Um, April's asking for some soup. What? How is... What? Really? Oh, I guess because we were starving, we don't get... Com that, that... Okay, that that makes sense. I I, I can accept that, actually. That That's that's absolutely fine. Um, okay. Yeah, I need uh, I need to start stockpiling soup. Um, you're good again. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, I'm gonna have that soup myself. Don't want to hear anything about it either, April. All right. Uh, and then I want to send Dee Dee. So we've been to the cave. Which one had the nauseous gas? I think that was maybe the swamp. Oh yeah, I'm assuming that means toxic gas, right? That makes sense. To me, anyway. And it's a great place to get, um... Uh... Logics. So, let's do this. I want you to take... Um... Yeah, maybe armor. Uh, I don't want you to take the lighter. I have a feeling it's gonna go boom boom, so don't do that. Alright. You go... You're crafting soup, you're working hard, love you Tom, uh, and our water recycler is overheating, the overheating itself isn't the problem, the system is safeguards, the problem is we store our minerals under the water recycler, I'm worried that any minerals there, even leftover traces, could melt or boil if exposed to too much heat, that could be hazardous. A manual reset could work, but will be tough. Do you want to try it? Yeah, we need the minerals. That's what we need for soup. And we don't have enough soup to 
risk anything. Crank that! Lost in translation, oh. Close up to it! I, I opted to manually reset the overheating water recycler, the job was harder than I expected. The Astro Citizen Patent and Water Recycler Guide specifically warns against not releasing any steam jets. Ah, damn. During such repairs, the steam jets you let loose vaporize some of the exposed minerals. Store next to the recycler. You're lucky they didn't vaporize you too. Damn it, I think that's everything... I think that's everything Tom found as well. Dee Dee sat out on a swamp romp. <laughs> Cross your fingers, she comes back. April's still my friend. April's still complaining about the lack of rations. That is absolutely fine, April. Um, because we've we've got you sorted, honey bun. Um, await contact. Use a guide to translate the mysterious message. A guide, you say? Oh! Yeah, I do need a fucking hand. But that's... A bloody typical. While we were starving. Damn it. That's really annoying. Um... Can't craft anything. Um... Why can't I craft soup, Tom? I thought you were gonna make stuff for me all the time. Uh, I can't upgrade the crafting module. Um... Is there any reason to upgrade that stuff? This is annoying. Um... Should I get rid of the lighter? Uh, I'll I'll give I'll give Tom a day because he he is supposed to be like you are still science officer, right? Yeah, yeah. He should be making stuff for us. <laughs> so it's maybe just that we lost a bunch of stuff. I don't know. But no, no. He he needs to. Unless it is just the minerals he's making and he's not making the science stuff. But it felt like he was making the science stuff. Yesterday we picked up a transmission that's been playing for years. However, since the message was in a foreign language, you weren't able to decode it. It's meaning. If I were you, I'd make sure to find a guide of some sort to help you translate the message, as we will surely pick it up again sooner or later. Who knows, maybe the transmission contains clues that could prove, that could prove essential to your survival. You remain quite alert. Elbow doesn't need rations anymore. Tom is hungry. God damn it. How did we go? How did it go so badly so quickly? And he does not appear to be making what I thought he made. He doesn't seem to be making minerals for me anymore either. Why not, Tom? What? Like, I sent you out fucking once, and now you're being a bit of a brat. I'm growing a bit of a beard. Um, okay. Alright, I'm gonna get rid of the lighter then. I don't want to be getting rid of stuff constantly. I, I, I mean, first of all, we're, we're gonna run out pretty fucking soon. And we're running out of stuff to do things like this. Captain, my weather system is taking a storm in the horizon. It's moving fast, so it will hopefully pass by tomorrow. This one could be nasty. Thunder, lightning, gale force wind, sharp objects howling at you from every which way. I'd like to keep monitoring the storm's movement throughout the night. But doing so will require a sensor to keep running on a battery as it is unadvisable to leave the main generator react. Okay, I, I have no... I cannot. I cannot. We gotta find some stockpile of soup. Uh, I chose to wait out the storm rather than run the monitoring systems on battery power. Wind shrieking and brutal rain pelted against the walls of the shuttle, but that was it. By morning, the weather was calm again. We spent the morning sifting through the washed up junk piles, but it was just a bunch of wild, wild crap. Dee Dee is still away. Tom remains loyal. Tom still complains about the lack of rations. Are we no longer friends? We are friends. Cool. Um. Okay, make a soup for Dickhead McGee. Um, and... I have nothing! 
very irritating. Last night I was bouncing through some designs of beautiful machines, never you mind why. <laughs> They're paid. Fuck me. No, pay attention. I found a food dispensing machine uh, on board. All shuttles in the Astro Citizen program were to be equipped with one. Ours is missing a lever, but apart from that, it seems functional. It's hardly rocket science, so you should manage it. But how? Oh, I actually, sh I actually shan't manage it. Thank you. DD. She's not back yet. <laughs> I held a vote when you were what? When I was sleeping at one one to zero. Vendi, the machine I mean, had to go. She would have driven me crazy with her limited programming constant food queries. There's no reason for you to be mad. She wasn't giving up the super up the soup rations to you either. What? If you look through the airlock, you can still wave goodbye to her. She floats away. What what's going on? Of course if you're hungry. If you're unhappy with the assortment of machines that populate the ship, you're free to file a complaint. Form number THX1138. Your objection will be considered as soon as you reach uh, a new home world, you ungrateful bastard. I made a soup. I'm not really complaining. Okay, I'm hungry. Tom is starving. Fuck. I mean, so it's basically a waste of time feeding him. Okay, I can make more soup though. So just keep making the soups. Uh, Captain, our wondrous Astro Citizen mini reactor needs its regular coolant flush. The magnificent machine only occupies two thirds of shuttle storage and weighs less than a 20 ton truck. Great! Um, truly a marvel of space age miniaturization. Keeping in good condition is crucial, yet difficult. To flush the coolant pipes, you must massage the casings gently while whispering mathematical equations to the machine. Tom is idle. Do you want him to... Yeah, Tom. Off you pop, laddie. Seems... Fine. Dee Dee, you back with all of my science? Dee Dee! <laughs> Tom gladly obliged when you asked to, asked to flush out the main reactor's coolant pipes. Tom noticed a dent in one of the mini reactor pipes and managed to rectify the situation that could have ended badly. Captain! Didi has survived her mission throughout the mirage. She appears a bit sickly in need of food and upset. And upset, but the primary focus is that she is not an alien doppelganger, we think. You pay attention as she begins to describe her boggy episode. Didi tripped over a weird idol that released a deadly cloud of poison gas. Thanks to the mask? Yeah, I figured so. She wasn't harmed. The mask, the gas corroded the mask filters, though. Um, the swamp was chemically rich. Dee Dee harvested many useful components. She did not expect to find out there, uh, but there it was. An old sock. Could it be ours? Uh, that is, that's actually really handy. Thank you, Dee Dee. Uh, where did all this soup come from? It's the greatest mystery of the universe and everything. Anyway, Dee Dee came back with soup. Fucking yes, that's a good portion of soup. Quite a trip, eh? Good thing Dee Dee is home now. Your safe feels rather empty. Your stomach feels rather empty, Captain. Crafting complete. New item. April's asking for some soup. Tom is hungry. Tom's really tired. Dee Dee's really tired, sorry. Tom is complaining about an empty stomach. Yep, that's, that's absolutely fine, though. I think we can all eat. Which is just absolutely insanity when you think about it. Uh, and none of us are starving, right? Yeah, okay, good. So that'll keep us in the clear. I'm going to get a med kit ready for DD. Uh, it said she was feeling a bit sick. Um, I don't know if she'll need that, but it'd probably be handy to have one ready to go anyway. Once everyone is hungry, we'll send April out on a mission as well. Uh, there's nothing to report, Captain. I suggest you, Captain, would you mind covering your mouth when you yawn? <laughs> I thought you got a good night's sleep. Wait, could this be? Boredom? Yes, I have heard that you humans need excitement in your lives to function properly. How curious. Captain, you're sitting in a state-of-the-art space shuttle drifting through the deep cosmos full of wonder and mystery. Can you at least pretend you're having a good time? I can pretend. I swear, I can pretend. 
Oh yeah, the med kit takes three. Uh, I forgot about that. It's all right though. We we've just fed ourselves, so we we got a little bit of time. Uh, yesterday seemed pretty slow and boring, but you managed to turn it around with a puppet show. The only puppet you had. Uh, can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? Only puppet you. Oh my god! Can I stop? Uh, the only puppet you had was Sock, so it was more of a monodrama than anything else. It was still a very powerful spectacle, probably the best in this part of the galaxy. You feel proud, don't you? In fact, the show was so tense, so intense that the Sock is now unusable. <laughs> Just not a sacrifice in the name of art. I could use some acting caption. Didi is still your friend. Able to stop asking for more soup. Didi's not rested. Uh, sorry, Didi is better. Tom is asking. Uh, don't ask him for soup as well. Okay, so maybe I should send Didi out again? Because I like April more. To be blunt. <laughs> I, I like having her around. She's she's very good at telling me that I'm doing great. And I, I really appreciate that. Um, yeah, <laughs> why not? Um, okay, so... Desert or canyon? Uh, I'm gonna go to canyon. I don't know what these hazards are. Dee Dee, I'm gonna send you back out there. You're pretty agile. I think this might actually not be a terrible idea. Uh, I'm gonna give you armor and I'm gonna give you. Um. Just the armor, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Captain, there is an ancient monument nearby. My scanners indicate uh, this site was previously occupied. Part of the structure seems to have been on Earth for a while. Whoever was here left in a hurry. There is still some equipment left. I think I can identify some tools down there. The excavation site is here to have a look around and see if there's anything useful. I absolutely... Would love to. I bet I'm about to find a rope and stuff that would be very handy for Dee Dee. I did realize I sent Dee Dee out. Ah, you know what? She's not come across as sick yet, and it's been a couple of days, so I'm sure she's okay. Um, I descended towards the bottom of the excavation site. It wasn't hard to see what spooked the previous occupants. At the base of the monument was serving relief showing a flying creature made of pasta and meatballs. The horror. The memory of that atrocity will follow you for a long time, but the search proved fruitful. I found a utensil that I assume was used for digging. You find some solace in the fact that the shovel seems to look... <laughs> the shovels seem to look the same across the galaxy. Dee went off canyoning. I'm on it for her return. I'm, a, I'm alert. Tom is loyal. I'm no longer hungry. Everything is just going great. Uh, and then, once that's done, I'm just going to fire out the soups. Captain, we've encountered alien life some time of protozoan. Parasite has contaminated our water supply. You dealt with that in the wrong way. First part, second part, flip them around. I got really excited. Uh, I have no idea how the system was contaminated. Too late now. I don't think the infection will kill you, but my data on these organisms is not complete. Do you want to tough it out or purify the water? I don't want to tough it out. <laughs> I want to purify the water, please. <laughs> I <don't... laughs> I'm not a tough guy. I failed to purify the contaminated drink water. Eventually everyone's symptoms passed, but it wasn't pretty. In the end you survived, but you wish the shuttle had more than one space toilet. Tom Rain's loyal. Great. Okay, April's uh, hungry, but is alert. Okay, great. Great, 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 great. Okay, um... Okay, I was... Can I upgrade that, but no, we're alright. Um... Okay, soup. Back on the soup maker machine. Uh, right. Captain, I found something interesting on the on the surface of the planet. Looks like somebody passed their time by playing a supervised version of Tic Tac Two, but never completed the, this particular game. The game pieces consist of minerals that we could use. 
Now I'm not the one. I'm not one for ruining someone else's fun. But I think the winner is clear by looking at the board, so they shouldn't mind if we mess up their X's and O's. Should we take the liberty to gather those pieces and use them? Yeah, absolutely. We need the fucking minerals. Absolutely. Yeah, 